Hello everybody, this is Enderdo Tutorials here, and welcome to my first video on this channel. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the animatronic movement in Multimedia Fusion, Clip Team Fusion, whatever you have. It's basically the same program, but it's named differently, and Clip Team Fusion is just more powerful, okay? Now, Multimedia Fusion and Click Team Fusion were both made. Click Team Fusion and Multimedia Fusion were both the programs that made Five Nights at Freddy's. You can you can make Five Nights at Freddy's of any of them programs, but today I'm gonna use um, my game which I cancelled called Five Nights at Stevie's because I can't I can't think of any other sort of example to give you so as you can see all of these events yes but we're gonna look at the animatronic movement so um let's just hold a minute uh let me just make a new yeah a new group of events so let's call this animatron animatronic movement there we go and now let's just f so as you can see animatronic movement so this this or no, this 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 and this was well, not about this one but this 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 these are all of the animatronic movement so we're going to copy so basically i copied and pasted it into here but what we are going to do is basically um, there's another thing that I forgot to get rid of is is it this one? Oh yeah right okay it's this one so I need to get rid of that one and that's for the counter for Steve which is uh, the animatronic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and replicate on what I did so that you guys can understand because as you know that this game is cancelled God damn it! And I'm making a new game, but I'm not gonna tell you. Well, you probably know what it is called, but well, yeah. So animatronic movement. So uh, let's just say every uh, every uh, five seconds, but we, we need to actually find the counter. So it's just a no. Uh, it's, Ah, okay, this, this here is the counter, so let's just make all of this white, that sounds so nothing, so let's just make all of this white, so yeah, basically I just made all of that white, and I need to make sure that that is invisible, uh, how do I do that, there we go, let's make sure that that's invisible, so that is white, so now you can see that, so now, uh, every five seconds, Hands for Steve. Uh, add. Uh, let's say uh, five to counter. So now, if the counter is greater or equal to uh, five, I also need to show you something. Um, as you can see, this uh, background here. This is the cam thing. Uh, so if I show you real quickly, it's gonna. As you can see here, right here, yeah. If I do that, this th this is the camera here. Uh, if I show you right here, uh, which it, which is this thing here right here, as you can see, yeah, this is the cam. So uh, I've also got other cams, uh, Cam Free Steve, which is right here, and. Like you have to have um, every single cam like in each animation sequence, and you need to change where he is going to be. I can't really explain it. It's very, very, very hard to explain. So basically, um, if you have all of your cams, you need to duplicate all of your cams in different animation sequences, like these ones, and. Um, in the different animation sequences, in the directions where your cams are, 
your anim your animatronic needs to be in then different cams. So now, uh, so in cam four, and these are all of these animatronics, although Jeb and Notch never even moved because I told him not to. Um, then it changed to him being in there. Then it changed to him being in there. Then it changed to him being in there. And last but not least, it changed him to being in here. As I can show you, so, um, wait, wait. oh yeah, I remember that now. So yeah, he was in there, like that, and the, the jump scare, which kind of failed-ish, which I never even used. Yeah, um, so that's all you need to know. And then when the counter for Steve counter equals 5, then if I can find it, so this is the cam 1 room, make sure that the animation sequence changes to 3. So. Wait, hold on. I need to do something real quickly. Right, I think that works now. So now we just see the cat at the cam counter. So let's look at. So now he is at cam. Let me just replay that for you. So let's just go into here. So cam four, he is in there. When he reaches to five, he is now gone, and now he is in there. So now if. We whole minute. If we put it to let's say about fifteen, then he will move to cam two. Let's just try this now. So, so as we said before, he is he is now at the moment. Then he turns to five. Then he is in there. And then when it turns to ten, let's just wait. So now it's 10, so he's still in there. So when he gets to 15, he. Oh, I don't know why that does it, but now he is in there. Come on, camera, come on. Now he is in there, as you can see, he's there, right there. So, so if it turns to 25, yeah, 5, 15, 20, yes, I know. Then change the animation sequence. To cam one. So let's see how this works out. So yeah, he is in here. Then five. Then he is now in here. Yes, we all know that. Then he would be in here. Come on, come on. There we go. He is now in there. You can see him right there. So now he, so then he is going to be in cam two when he hits twenty-five, as you can see there. So that's basically it on how you do the animatronic uh, movement. Now, if you ask me how to do the animatronic random movement, I do not know how to do that yet. I think that's to do with like all terrible values or something like that. I don't know, but I, I think. I think it's when, uh, like, I think you have to put in, like, random, uh, three, whoops, random three, would that work? Equals random three, and then animation three, I guess. I don't know if that would work or not, but I'm going to try anyways. So, random three. So he's in there, yes. Come on, 15. Now he's in there, yes. We all know that. Come on, 25. Now he's in there, but what does the random three mean? I, I just, I don't even know what that does. So 30. 35. Okay, it looks like that thing doesn't do anything. So I'm not really, really sure how you do the animatronic movement, but that is it for the... Well, 
I don't know how to do the animatronic random movement, but I know how to do the animatronic based um, timed basic timed movement for the animatronics. So I hope you all enjoyed everybody. If you did, please don't forget to like leave a like in this video. If we can get to about five, ten likes or something, that would be appreciated. And subscribe everybody. Because I because um whatever you want help with I will make a tutorial about it ASAP. No no question about it, okay? Whatever question or any help you need, I will help you about it. Do not worry. If it's to do with platformers, then I'm probably not going to be able to help you. But if it's to do with your Five Nights at whatever Five Nights at something game you're making, then I can help you make it. So, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you as always in the next video. Peace out, everybody.